the commands of the manager. Ronaldo's got major influence in that dressing room. We know that. And this is why I said he needs to leave. Whether we sign someone to replace him or not, he has to leave, bro. He has but to he leave. To leave. So I don't know why the club are keeping him and held him to ransom, man. It's, it's pissing Yeah, me. like someone said this as well to watch this. What is At this? At the end of the day, it probably fits in with what I've been told. United are actively trying to get Ronaldo out of the club. And if Eric Ten Hag has done that interview, he knows exactly what's going to happen with that interview. It's going to turn a lot of fans against Ronaldo. So I'm disappointed oh, with Ten Hag really because oh, I think, one, it's going to cause Ronaldo a load of hate. And two, it makes the club out to be a liar. And you never want that wow. to be. Wow. So who, oh my God. That's the first time I've seen that one, you know. Wow, this brother, you know, what's he doing? Oh, wow. Bro, the guys, the all I can say is, I told you about this guy anyway. Like, it is what it is, isn't it? Like, I told you, Saeed, I told Statman and all these guys, yeah, I told you, Ronaldo don't want to play for us. We need to get rid of Ronaldo. The club are not trying to get rid of Ronaldo. Ronaldo's trying to force his way out of the club. And somehow... Somehow, yeah, like my man's trying to turn this into a Same Man United are trying to force Ronaldo out. No, yeah. Man United are not trying to force Ronaldo out. That bro went to Portugal and was on strike and was talking shit about family problems, yeah. No, he wanted to leave, bro. Man United are not trying to force Ronaldo out. Like Man United were happy to keep him. They've even got an option to extend for another year. One Man United year. are not trying to force Ronaldo out. Ronaldo's trying to force his way out the club. Why are these men trying to protect Ronaldo's fucking reputation, bro? He's a fucking crybaby. He's always mm. been that. Do you know what I'm saying? He's always been that, bro. He's been about himself, blood. He played the other day. He was fucking shocking. And then now they're trying to make it out that Man United are forcing Ronaldo out. How can you tell people that you've been told this, bro? That's a lie. It's a, it's a flat-ass lie, bro. Ronaldo's... Bro, he came to the club with his agent. We saw it in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I know. He didn't train and he left out the back door. Yeah. And now they're saying Man United are trying to force him out. How? But, you know, what got me, though, what he said there was like, you know, the conflict between the manager and the player. Like, is the manager not in control? Like, why are you trying to make this a problem between the, the, the manager and the player? Bro, he's what he's trying to do is he's trying to get all these Ronaldo fanboys to go against yep, the manager, that's it. and that's, that's what, what he's what doing. doing, just to prove a point. Like, so petty, man, so petty. But bro. that's what I'm trying to say. And it's funny. People always said, "Oh, me, I'm negative. I'm not a Man United fan, bro." Isn't as it? soon as Ten Hag's come in, I've backed the manager completely. Yeah. I have complete Isn't faith in the manager. Complete faith in him because he's actually a good manager. My man's trying to fucking do Ronaldo versus the manager already and the season ain't started. Mm. He's trying to make, exactly, someone put there, he's trying to make Ten Hag look like the villain. Are you mad? How could no, someone this be is a villain? When no, but this is what Ronaldo win. fanboys do, though. Ronaldo fanboys yeah. always do that. There always has to be a villain, innit? There yeah. always has to be a villain. Do you know what but I mean? How, there always has to be. But I'm thinking, how can, how can a, a man be a villain? If you set a rules in the house here, and you're the, the, the say you're the house owner, and you set the rules in the house here. And someone's come in, and they try and basically negate every rule possible. Who's in the wrong? You've come into a house with a set of rules. You need to abide yeah. by them rules or get the heck out. It's simple, right. isn't it, though, right. <laughs> bro? <laughs> listen, if if you don't live in the family now, and you go against your dad or your mum, bro, your dad and your mum's kicking you out, mate. They say you get out, mate. Go and find mm. your own home. It's as simple mm. as that, man. And that's what life is, isn't it? Like and. This trying to create like, oh yeah, but Ronaldo's Ronaldo in it. Nah, man. The manager's the manager. How about that? But that's it. But you know what it is, yeah? Like I said, bro, these men lie, bro. Man probably knows, yeah, that 90% of his fanboys are Ronaldo fanboys. So because of that, my man's not going to say nothing against Ronaldo because it's going to affect man's money, bro. So man's talking absolute mm -hmm. shit, yeah? Just to appease man's fan base, bro. And this is exactly what it is. Yeah, man. and that and that's why the man them you have to keep it one hundred, bro. You see, when you keep it one hundred, when you don't sit on the fence and stuff like that, yo, bro, you don't have the mainstream numbers, but bro, you got your integrity. You can sleep at night, bro. You know, like that. Night. You can sleep at night. I don't have to sit here lying to people about fake sources and all these other things. Everything I give these men are 
are my God's honest opinion, bro. Because I've got nothing, I've got no affiliations with no clubs. I don't get press passes. I don't get free shirts no more. United used to send me shirts. As soon as I started cooking Man United, they stopped sending me my shirts. But if you man know where it is, I don't care. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't need the shirts. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's one of them ones where, bro, it's nonsense. It's absolute nonsense, bro. Them man yeah, there are cool. playing, them man are playing games to appease their fan base. They don't care about the football club. Man only cares about yeah. their viewership and their viewer base. So they're making content to appease their people. They don't care about the club. It's never been about Man United. It's yeah. never even been about football, bro. Yeah. You know what it is, yeah? I, I think, like I said to you, man, I think you got to remember as well, Ronaldo fan base as well. It's not just for United fans, though, is it? You know what I mean? So you're making money out of a global fan base in it so like i said for me i'm i just feel like situation is ronaldo versus um versus tenag and that for me just because you want your player to stay and you believe he's a goal doesn't mean that you have to go and turn people against the manager in and then you start then all of a sudden people start second guessing the manager thinking oh tell him he's in the wrong you know you know what i mean yeah. because if the club's allowed it then surely tenag can't come out now and all of a sudden say I didn't allow it. You know what I mean? And then it creates yep. some kind of confusion. For me, we don't need that, man. Especially that. That's why I said, yeah, a lot of people were going mad at me saying, oh, what do you mean about ultimatum? It's Ronaldo. No, I said, yeah, there needs to be a time where the club has to say, you know what? Enough's enough now. Right. Are you going or are you staying? And Tenag, for me as well, has to have that conversation. Say, you know what, bro? We need to move on now. Because... Yeah, but remember when we had our last show, yeah? You said to me, you were like, yeah, yo, the club need to say to Ronaldo X, Y, Z. And yeah. I, I said to you, I said, no, they don't. Because Ten Hag's definitely already told him. Ten Hag's already told him, yeah, that he's not um, he's not, he's not part of the plans. I, I've report. seen, I saw the Ten Hag stuff about so saying what, something about, you, it's, about you, it's about what you're doing. It's about what you're doing now. So you're just saying it's just general quotes and it, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just kind of like, he's just saying it to kind of make sure there's no problem. All right, fair enough. But like I said, I just feel like we need to draw a line here because for me, it's getting out of hand in it because all these fanboys now are just going to try and nitpick. When when Ronaldo gets dropped, start of the season, yeah. it's like, oh, you know, you should have started Ronaldo. It's this and that. It's a manager to blame and all this. When he's not fit and he's not been fit because he's not been available. Yeah. So how's that 10 hours yeah. fault? You see what I mean? Like, this is why yeah. I just I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it, bro. I've never been, like I said to you, I'm no no FC, you get me, whatever. Like, I'm just about the manager in it. And I've seen how the division in the group affected Ralph Ragnick, bro. Let's be real. I yeah. think Ralph Ragnick could have done a better job if people were together and there weren't kind of indifferences. I generally... Oh, 100%, 100% bro. These men threw Ralph Ragnick under the bus, bro. Do you know what I mean? And now we know that CR7 was at the fucking, at the front of it. Yep, exactly. We know that now. Because CR7 didn't want to press under Ralph, but now we know that he's the reason why... Um, we, we know he's the reason why now it didn't work out. We know that now. Yeah. yeah, 100%. 100%, man. So, like I said, bro, I just, for me, like I said, um, you know, Ronaldo has too much influence, bro. Like, he, people, people don't realise, man, Ronaldo has too much influence. Like... He done some things for United that was what twelve years ago, man. We've moved on mm -hmm. as a football club. Doesn't mean that we're forgetting it, but it's moved on, yeah. man. Like, let's be real, man. We don't really owe anything, Ronaldo. Anything he's done his bit. He said he bro, was. We definitely don't owe Ronaldo anything, bro. So Why would we? We need to move on. Like, we generally actually do need to move on and actually make a team that's functioning well to what Ten Hag needs. Not play, not players that are gonna come in and basically say, you know what. Well, I don't want to do this, so I want this to be my way, and this and this like rebellious in it. And I feel like for me, that's what's going to happen if we end up keeping Ronaldo. There's going to be some sort of rebellion, and again, who who loses out? The fans. Yeah, fact. So it's just we need we need we need we need um, clarity in it. But the fact that Tenna came out, honestly, you don't know how glad I am, bro. And he was, he spoke to um, some Dutch channel as well, so you get me. He spoke in his language, so he, he yeah came yeah. Out, yeah, yeah. And, he went unacceptable twice in his conversation. So he was like, yo, nah, that's not that's not running with me. So end of the day, like I said, man, and you know Ten Hag's the kind of guy, yeah, I feel like he he forgives, but he don't forget in it. And I like that, you know, because at the end of the day, 
You know what I mean? These players have done it to Ralph Randick. They did it to certain other managers. Like, you know what I mean? If you just forgive them and they do the same thing and slap you in the face, that ain't, yeah. that ain't running with us, man. That ain't running with us, bro. Yeah, but like someone said, two alphas in one pack. And you know what it is, yeah? It's like, it's not even the, the alpha situation because you could have the two alphas there, but it's like Ronaldo... Ronaldo's ego, ego, yeah, is crazy, bro. It's out of control because he's not good, bro. Like, and some of the ten hard quotes that I saw here yeah, about it was blatantly insinuating that cool Ronaldo's not at that level no more. You know, like yeah, that. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not about what you've done. It's about what you're yes. doing, bro. Yeah, and you're not point you there because he said like he this although Ronaldo's Ronaldo. He kind of like said, well, he needs to get to the, to the level that we are going to be at in it. And I like that yep. as a manager to come out and say that. Because he could have either said, Ronaldo's one of the best players in the world and, you know, he will fit whatever we're trying to do and he'll be that forefront and basically prop up Ronaldo. Because I think for me, for the dynamic of the team, it, it's, it's better. It's for every player, though. It's Martial, it's Rashford, it's Sancho. Nobody's got yep. a spot that's certified, isn't it? Nobody's got their spot nailed on. And that's what you want, though. Right. Cause then you're on your toes, in it. Like you know, you, you're not kind of thinking that. Yeah, man, man's place is like it's a given, in it. You know what I mean? Like it's too many yeah, times been doing that, bro. You know hundred percent. But the the thing as well, what he said though, he did say he kept reiterating though that he wants players that are fitted to what he wants to do in it. I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you. Man. I'm just trusting a manager in it. I know a lot of people want to come to me and say, you know, oh, but. Don't you think the manager's wrong to do that? And I said, nah, you know what, man? For once here, yeah, I'm just going to back what the manager does and I think about it later on, man. I generally, there's no point for us here yeah, to be thinking, you know what? We should have had a plan B, et cetera, et cetera. I think we've just got to back the manager. If he thinks like, you know, we should wait for De Jong, then we should wait for De Jong because who else is out there? You know, yeah. Tillman for me, I don't think he can play that role. Um, Nevis. He's not the same player as um, De Jong. It's, he wants that player that can play in that six. And you've just got to trust him, innit? We can talk Fact. about it later on and we can constructively analyse and criticise maybe this was the right decision to make. But now, the, the project hasn't even started, innit? So you can't really criticise something that's not started yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, facts. So, 100%. You can't, yeah, man. man. And this guy here, this Gerard Romero, man, he's an absolute waste, man. I never want to hear this guy again, man. Bro, I'm tired of this guy, you know. This guy keeps saying things are happening. Ain't nothing happening, man. Bro, mm. I, I, listen, this guy here, I would never live to what he says. He said it was 95% done this Dion deal when it started, man. I wouldn't trust But it was guy. 90%. It was 90% done, though. Man United had agreed to defeat your Barcelona, but bro, bro that bro, is what no, it is. No, 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 no. Listen, man, this guy, I'm... I, this bro, I'm not like nice. so he's had enough, bro. He's had enough, bro. Nah, this Gerard Romero, bro. He's doing weather forecast, he's doing bare bullshit, bro. He's just basically, yeah, he's got something that he's running now and he's running it up. Fair play in it, like he's got his own Twitch and that. He's got his yeah. own thing. He's trying to pop it off in it so then the people can go and check his stuff that he's doing. But I'm sorry, man. I'm not this Gerard Romero. I'm not believing what he says, man. Until David Ornestin says this is happening. And it's done, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I ain't listening to no Gerard Romero, this uh, Albert Sanchez, this guy from sport, like none of them man them. You get me? Like he said this week's hot. Bro, what do you mean this week's hot, man? I know it's hot. It's flipping 26 degrees outside, man. 